hello guys this is going to be day 43 me posting every single day so i've become a software engineer um there's probably going to be some changes to the way things are done because i am no longer paying for um boot.dev because I am not working right now in college and um, had to spend quite a bit of money on buying a meal plan recently so that was nice but yeah I have some credit cards and school loans that I gotta pay every single month so don't think I'll be doing boot.dev even though I really like it until I can get um, a job again and I probably won't be working any regular retail job here I'm only going to be in Abilene for like three months so um, yeah uh, so that's kind of the current situation with that but um, if I find some other way to make money I mean I continue to do it, but um, I don't really have any other options right now. But um, yeah, so I mean, I might do a little bit of it today, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna be able to do much. It's gonna end in like a couple days. I might just be doing leak code for the rest of this semester, probably, or maybe I'll just build some of my own projects see what happens but yeah that's just kind of the, the update on that I guess or is our fixed group of variables of the same type 10 integers okay three strings and returns an array of three strings and array of three integers string where it contains the original messages dude those syntax is so weird I don't get this Turn the two there's almost cost. I 
I expected. You use a slice saver ray, work with order list. Rays are fixed in size. Just make the ray like 10 and you can't add and load elements. Slice is a name of size. Your value of slices is nil. Non nil slices always have unlike ray. Is not always specified explicitly? Specifically, a lot of slice of you. That's just like Python. Takes a plain ray for its input as well as an array of three meshes. You can provide it with contest. With constants representing the plan types at the top of the file. Equal to plan free. Return all strings from message input in a slice. Looks like that to get the whole thing. If it's a pro plan, actually. Yes, I see. I misspelled return. Return the first two strings from messages and put in the slides. I think we need two because zero index, right? That isn't either of those. Turn a nil slice and error that says unsupported plan. We also need to return an error. Not new, right? It's not it. Yes, this is it. I think we can just do errors, not new, right? That's a unsupported plan. I think we can just, okay, fine, whatever. I guess we're turning them back on. I guess I've just gotten used to it now. 
Um, you know. Did I get an error? No, I did not. I passed all. Yeah, well, I said it was zero to whatever. Um, well, let's see what this guy's guy talking about. We have way too many names for ordered lists of things in programming. In JavaScript, we call them arrays. In Python, we call them lists. And, well, in Go, there are actually two unique types, arrays and slices, and they are very different. Arrays are fixed in size. It means their size can't change. And we can create a new array of five items with this syntax. And then we can assign values directly into each index, like this. But this array will always have exactly five elements in it. So you might wonder, how is that even useful if I can't add or remove things from the array? And, well, frankly, it's usually not. And that's why, as a developer in Go, you'll use slices instead, at least, like, 99% of the time. At least, slices are what you'll use directly. See, dynamic slices are backed by fixed size arrays. Slices are just much easier to work with. And here's how you create a new slice. Notice that there isn't a size limit. A slice is dynamically sliced. It's a flexible view into a backing array. Now, while you won't often use arrays directly, unless you really don't need resizing, slices do rely on arrays behind the scenes. Aside from being resizable, slices are, as the name suggests, slices or parts of an array. You can use slicing syntax to create a new slice that just has a section of an existing array or space. For example, say we wanted to get a second through the fourth items. We can create a new slice like this. The first index, one, is inclusive, and the second four is exclusive. Now, slices in array and go are stored in contiguous memory, just like arrays in C, because accessing data stored contiguously is faster than pulling it from a bunch of different scattered memory locations. The downside of contiguous memory is that we can't expand a slice in place if there's no room. Say our slice uses memory addresses 700, 701, and 702. If address 703 already holds some other variable, we can't just expand into it. And that's why backing arrays are fixed in size. It prevents us from overwriting other memory. So how do slices grow? Well, they need to automatically allocate a new, larger backing array and copy the data from the old array into the new one. For example, let's say we have this slice with three elements. If we append a new value, two, then a new array, say like six, is actually created automatically for us. The old values are copied into it, and then the new value is just added. This new array was in a completely new memory location, but the same slice that we had originally still now points to. Now, this whole copy operation where we go from the old array to the new array might sound slow, and sometimes it like six is actually created automatically for us. The old values are copied into it, and then the new value is just added. This new array was in a completely new memory location, but the same slice that we had originally, if we append a new. So you can just append to the slice. Then a new array, say like six, is actually created automatically for us. The old values are copied into it, and then the new value is just added. This new array was in a completely new memory location, but the same slice that we had originally still now points to it. Now, this whole copy operation where we go from the old array to the new array might sound slow, and sometimes it is, but Go is smart. It doesn't grow the array for every single new append. Instead, it allocates extra space ahead of time, so resizing only needs to happen every so often. Oh, slices wrap array to give it general more power. Those whole rips is don't like array. And you sign. One slice from another, both refer to the same array. Oh, you see, slice argument, eight changes. You fill some car, and I was passing pointer. So slice is basically um, a reference to an array. Okay, so apparently, how is that true? That was a reference. Is a pointer to an online array. Modifying SI affects the color. Reslicing or pending may create a new array. Those structure changes are reflected. Oh, the underlying array. I don't think they're talking about the array that was sliced from. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Okay. I'm not going to go too long tonight because it's already late. I need to actually fix my sleep schedule. But thank you guys for watching. Um, 
guess, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. It's how to lead to it or create our own projects. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll do the Odin project or something. That could be a good idea, to be honest with you. It's not a bad idea. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you all in the next one.